You went running today? Six miles today. Yesterday, the six miles actually lost nine pounds, and I filmed it. You're crazy. You were running in this heat? I love it. Uh, as soon as I knew it was over 100 degrees, I want to go outside and run. As soon as possible, because I usually train in Florida. So as soon as it's hot out, I want to go out and run. I love it. You're, you're crazy, really. I would pass out. What is your plan? What, when is your next fight? Um, I've heard October. October's the fight. October's the date. We are ready. We've been training for five years for this, professionally. Five years, three surgeries, and we are ready to take on anybody in the world. Who is the, the opponent? I would love it to be uh, Terrence Crawford. If Terrence Crawford is not eligible to take me, I want to fight John Molina. John Molina just beat number one contender in Ruslan Pavlikov, and that's the guy I want to fight then. So is the fight going to be here at the Paramount? That would be the most amazing thing possible. I think that would honestly be the icing on the cake for my career, to be able to take my number one contender spot and fight it here in front of this beautiful arena that I fought in, I don't know, 15, 16 times. That would be so awesome. So I wish. That's a dress to come true. Let me ask you a question. Uh, I heard earlier you said you wanted to fight Chris Algieri. If Chris Algieri is still in boxing um, and he doesn't retire anytime soon, and if it took me and brought it to the next step, I have no problem doing that. I know they're doing the, the Coliseum over. I would love to sell it out. If we could put me, Chris Algieri, Joe Smith, all at the Nassau Coliseum, sell that place out, put on, show the world that Long Island is one of the best venues on the planet, that would be beyond. What did you think of the Joe Smith Jr. knockout? You saw that on TV? I am a fan of Joe Smith Jr. He's from Shirley. I'm from Shirley. Um, he's from the same amateur gym for me, which is cool because we, most of the times you see his fighters, are from, they don't really know each other. I actually know him. I know his coaches. And I was very proud to know somebody from, from Shirley to go out there and prove everybody wrong, especially being, I think it was like 12 to a, a 13 underdog, to go out there and knock somebody out in the first round. So I wish the very best for him. And I, I know he's into the best. He's always have. And he's been through so much in his life to, to, to prove everybody wrong. So it, that's the best part about that, this box thing. You, everybody can doubt you. You go out there and just show everybody that whatever you say about you about me doesn't matter because in the ring, I can prove everybody wrong. Well, thank you. I mean, I missed you. You haven't been here in a while. I know. Were you, were you, on the, you weren't on the last card. Who was the? Uh, no, I wasn't on that last card. I was actually doing the uh, announcing for uh, Joe Smith. Uh, before that, I knocked the kid out in the first round. And before that, you know, I knocked the kid out in the first round. <laughs> you always knock the kid out in the first round. Do you think that you will knock out the kid in the next round in October, or do you think it'll go the distance? I'll say this. A psychic that I did not know came to me and told me that my next fight, I'm going to go out. She didn't know anything about boxing. She said she, said she watched this movie like Jason Bourne or whatever. She said, you're literally going to go out there and you're going to knock the kid out in the first round. I said, okay, that sounds exactly like my style. So a psychic that I had no idea, I didn't pay her any money, came to me, found me, took her two weeks to find me, and tell me that whoever I'm going to fight next, I'm going to knock him out in the first round. So if you have any betting going on, I'm going to say I'm going to knock somebody out in the first round. So it's safe to say you will be looking for a knockout in the first round? Uh, it's safe to say that she said that the angels are looking at me to look out for me to knock somebody out in the first round. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to that knockout. So am I. It just says the angels are looking at me. What can I say? Thanks, Cletus. Uh, no problem, Carol. Anything else you want to say? You know what? One more thing. You went a little crazy after your last fight. I'm going to interview you in the ring. Oh, it was a little true. out of character. You caught him with yelling and oh, screaming. I was, I was happy about it, though, I because was mad. I, why were you mad? I was mad because it took me five years to ever get any recognition in this sport. Um, and even after I got recognition, it was still taken away from me. But at least I have a mouth. At least I can say it that what I want and what I want to get done is I want to fight a top five fighter in the, top, in, in the world in W. In, in the 140 pound division. I don't care what division, uh, what, if it's a WBC, WBO, w, whatever it is, I want to fight a top five fighter in the world, and that's exactly my plan and my goal. I don't need to fight nobody else besides those kind of fighters, and it's upsetting to me that I have to go and put myself through this training regimen to fight everybody else in the world, and I kill them. So that's the end of that. I mean, you're running in 100 degree heat. Last question, what's your Twitter so people can follow you on your Facebook? I'm on Cletus Selvin, and on my Instagram is the best. It's Bear Jew USA. So I'm the only Bear Jew USA out there. I'm the only Jewish boxer, maybe the only Jewish athlete in the world. So 
A lot of the Jewish community follows me, Long Island. Anybody that has a badass attitude follows me. Uh, that's exactly what I represent when I bring. I bring somebody that works from the bottom and go to the top. That's exactly the only way I go to. All right, thanks, Cletus, and I'll definitely follow you. All right. <laughs> I already do.